On this episode of Catch and Cook, it's the good life of Nebraska. I'm catching some fresh game with Master Chef Manny, who's going to let me in on the coal fire cooking secrets. Cooking. Everyone's doing it these days, and after our first season of working our way through New Zealand, this year, it's the USA. We'll start at the southernmost point of the U.S. and work our way, hopefully, all the way to the top. Join me each week as one celebrity chef presents the ultimate challenge, catching a few items. Luckily, we're going to eat tonight with the ultimate reward, the best meal of our lives. It's just as important to catch the meal. Ah. One down, one to go. Oh, that's just not right. As it is to cook it. And with my help, you're going to catch. We got that catch. And cook with Adventure Aaron. In the heartland of the Midwest lies my home state of Nebraska. It's about time I explored the wide open spaces of the rich farming land and found something great to catch for the table. On this episode of Catch and Cook, here we are in Omaha, Nebraska, my hometown, and home to one of the richest men in the world, Warren Buffett. Here's his house. Unfortunately, he's not home today. traveling to meet my chef and to get my challenge. At the exciting new Pitch Pizzeria, Chef Manning has taken over the creative forces in the kitchen, bringing flair and passion to his task. I wonder what this challenge is gonna be for me. Master Chef Manning, it's an honor to meet you. Nice to meet you too, man. Welcome to Omaha. Thank you. I have a feeling this is going to be one extreme hunt based on that hat. Yeah, man. He's your grocery at least. All right. Let's see what this is. Uh, I can't wait to see it. All right. I, yep. Um, quail and pheasant. Good luck, man. If you catch anything, I'll meet you in the restaurant. Awesome. I will see you there. We might All as well right. go on and get All to right, it. All right, man. On the Great Plains of Nebraska, I'm heading to the Northeast, where hunting for your keep is a way of life. Right now, it's a midwinter's day, a fresh 20 degrees, and I'm joining hunt leader Trent and these guys at Pheasant Bonanza to see if I can bag some birds for Chef Manning at Pitch. Where are we heading there, Trent? We're going to head out to our southeast field out here in Burke County. Normally. I've never hunted in this cold of weather, so I mean, is this thing gonna be frozen? Do you need the hand warmers? <laughs> I, I, I was gonna ask about the birds. There goes but... one right there. All right. See that? Yeah, what, now what was that? That was a rooster. Rooster? You've never shot a rooster? I've never shot me. First things, time for man. everything. Yeah, man. just about. Okay. It's game on in this exposed, icy location. I just hope my trigger fingers can work. <laughs> We'll do a quick safety briefing. If you want to grab your gun, sure. I'll explain all that. It's getting interesting now. Got to figure out how to use this thing still. My main rule is don't shoot any other dogs. But uh, besides that, Bill's dogs are going to be the flushers. I'm going to have one pointer. And uh, what I ask is that you guys just make sure everything is three foot above the cover, OK? I guess that's to stop us from shooting each other. A good rule, I'd have to say. Safety on until you're ready to see them shoot the bird. When do I load the gun? Right now. OK. <laughs> right now. The hunt is basically run by our little friends whose job is to seek out, point, and direct us hunters to the birds. Their expert noses are 10,000 times more sensitive than ours, and they are specially trained to release any birds they retrieve. It's funny, I wish I even knew which way goes in first. <laughs> but there's only one way to learn. Trent, Mike. Oh, these guys are already ready. Might as well get going. Easy, easy. Hit her here. I'm just 
scone in the pack here. No pun intended. Trying to make myself one of these dogs and literally get right on the tail of the point dog, which is right in front of me. Doesn't look like I've got much of a chance to get this shot. So between feeling my fingers and turning off in safety and then aiming, not to mention actually hitting it, this is a certainly a great catch. Nebraska is miles and miles of corn. Today, it's perfect cover for our pheasants to hide in. Nebraska known for corn husking. And actually, if all else fails, there's always corn. <laughs> Hopefully we're not eating frozen corn tonight. And suddenly, the dog catches a scent and the hunt is on. Hold up, guys! Get up there, guys. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Come on! That's what I was saying. It's either on top of that tiller, it's uh, or it's dead. These guys are on. This guy's gonna be my magic touch. Watch this. I'm taking my chances because I need to get that bird, and this hunt is a lot harder than it looks. Probably reading the dogs is the hardest part about this hunt. Um, in this situation, a lot of guys, you know, they think they either let their dogs range too far or they don't let them range enough. Uh, and, and just reading your dog, knowing when the dog's birdie, when the dog's on scent, and, uh, and that way you can be ready, get all the hunters ready for the, for the shot. And wouldn't you know it, it was my turn. The dogs were on a hair trigger and so was I. Okay, walk in. Walk me. Yep, walk past him. Yep. Oh, right there, Chucker. Look, Where? right there. Shoot again. One. Damn. You did say shoot that, right? That wasn't my head saying that. I said shoot it. Okay, just checking. <laughs> Seems like they're everywhere. I keep missing them. It's getting frustrating. Three guys, not one person got it. But I think we'll get this next one. Damn. The cold was wearing me down, my senses were slowing, and it's getting harder to focus, let alone hit something. It was taking all my effort just to stay sharp and stay in the game. Those are some tough shots, though. What's my spread on the on the actual bullet, you think? Where you were shooting, your two, your spread's actually pretty wide. It's okay. actually so wide that it would be tough to bring a bird down. OK. I had to rely on the dogs just to get me close to the pheasant. Oh, we get them when they're about six months, uh, six months old. And they, they, you know, breed them. They house train them, and they also train them out in the field here. Do they ever drop the catch, or do they always just uh, hold on and never let go? Uh, sometimes they like to fight over it, but usually they're pretty, they're pretty good about bringing it back to us. Um, they get a little excited when a bird falls, so yeah. sometimes they fight over it, but usually they're pretty good. It was time to get some warmth and defrost my system, so we headed back to the honey lodge for a quick break. Hunting is a way of life out here, and it's been part of the community since the first settlers carved out a place to live nearly 150 years ago. In this harsh environment, hunting provided food and living for the tough locals. The Midwest hospitality is big in scale and comes with an honest, no-nonsense approach to dining. It pays to eat well to keep warm outside, especially on the prairie. Round two, cameras are rolling. Only gonna get one chance at this, so it's all business from here on out. Another point. You got it. Awesome. You got it? Over here. You got it? The dogs had done their part, and I think I did mine. Touch it up. Hey, drop. For our pheasant, it's all over in a flash. I have to say that it doesn't get any fresher than this. That is awesome. That was a good shot. What kind is this? This is a rooster, rooster pheasant. Ring neck. See, and the reason they got that ring neck is obviously there's a white ring around the neck. Okay. 
Congratulations, buddy. Your first bird. Thank you. Well, I don't you know what hold it? it is. I'll we, try it, yeah. Okay, all right. This yep. warm me up. Yeah. <laughs> all right. One down, one to go. Oh, that's just not right. Uh, <laughs> huh. All right, one down. A couple more to go, hopefully. Sit down. Good boy. Back at Pitch Pizzeria, I had some of the freshest catch for my chef. Pitch has become the place in town to get a delicious coal-fired pizza and some great atmosphere. I wanted to say hello to the man behind the concept. Willie, it's good to see you. Welcome. I'm glad to be here. I'm happy to say I've got one of the freshest things uh, around Omaha, similar to everything else in this restaurant. Well, we're very happy to have pheasant. It looks very, very good, and we've got a, a good idea of what we're going to do with it. I'm excited. It's good to be here. I just was hoping to chat for you for a little bit and just sure. see if we could get some information and some history on what's been going on with you and Pitch and all that good stuff. Pitch is an interesting place. It's, it's, it's a sum of a lot of parts uh, dating back. The building is almost 100 years old. It had been vacant for seven years, and I sat across the street and I, I said, you know, something about this building I like. And I, I managed to, to uh, acquire the property. And then I went out and said, now I'm going to put a concept in that I think that fits. I've been in the business well over 40 years. I've been involved with 1,300 restaurants nationwide. Uh, and this argu arguably is probably one of my finest uh, combinations of uh, Vibe, music, food, uh, very creative, uh, a lot of farm to table. People talk about farm to table, but this will really prove farm to table. Uh, no pun intended. No pun intended. <laughs> we, we source out uh, items and with flavor, a uh, quality, and then we have to find value. But they, they then take the, the products and put their magic to them, and uh, that is the the beauty of pitch. I was hoping for some Manny magic and found out that he can do even more with some fresh pheasant. My man Manny. Hi, Aaron. Well, does that look good or what? Yeah, it looks pretty nice, man. Did we get that master class? Yeah, we did. Let's get to it, man. It's good nice. to see you. Nice to see you too, man. Let's do it. You got an apron for me? I got it ready for you, man. <laughs> Excellent. That actually looks a little bit familiar there. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet you does. So this is mine. Yeah, that's yours, man. I just right. it, man. So what are we gonna do with it? Oh, we're gonna just like very simple prepare, just salt, pepper, a little bit of fresh thyme, and uh, fresh garlic. That's it. Yeah, that's it. It must be rich. Yeah, very rich meat. So we're gonna start with black pepper, just a little bit. You don't have to do on both sides. You don't want to. Okay. Uh, I mean, you can if you want to, but like I said you don't have to. Kosher salt. Kosher salt. Yeah. Put a little bit of fresh thyme. The garlic, we just kind of do it like smash a little bit and just throw it in there. Garlic. And that's it. And then we go to off to the oven. Off to the oven, man. All right. We're going to use a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. OK. And butter. My All favorite right. part, Manny. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm <laughs> sure you do, man. You're Italian. <laughs> so we're going to stretch a. Uh, our, our pizza, though. Okay. Like I say, uh, every single pizza we do here, we stretch it by hand, and we do it to order. So it's not like uh, we have a press here, and yeah, you can see it. Sure. Uh, so we're gonna start uh, to put a little flour on there and stretch it like in the edge. I don't like to touch like the middle part. I just go around it. Okay. <laughs> I can give it a go. All right. <laughs> cool, man. All right. So we, it, man. now we're just gonna stretch it out a little yeah. bit, kind of like this. I bet you do how, how to do it, man. I'm trying, man. Nobody, <laughs> nobody said I was the expert, but how far do we go out on this now? I like probably say like 13, 14 inch. So, a little bit more? Yeah, you can, yeah, keep going. Okay. Yeah. Try not to touch the middle. Yeah. <laughs> Try not. Why are you laughing at me? It's yeah, harder, it's good. Yeah, so. it's like... But, you know. <laughs> no. <laughs> looks, looks pretty good. Yeah. Looks pretty good, man. Yeah. Okay. Much like, I mean, I'll let you go. 
Uh, yeah. See, now that's, yeah. now that's how a professional you know, does it. Uh, I don't know about All professional, right. but I try. All right, so now it's ready. Now we're gonna put the pizza sauce. But it's not a really typical pizza sauce like you used to be, like tomato, you know? This is fig and pepper dew sauce. So we're gonna spray a little bit on it. Uh, then we're gonna put a little bit of cheese, portobello mushrooms, and right in the end, we're gonna add the pheasant. So it should be okay like that. And that's it? That's it, man. Okay. Yep, yeah, so we're gonna put the cheese on it. We use a little bit of mozzarella. We usually, uh, you know, you shred it. Yeah, you know, or we, you put the ingredients and then the cheese? Uh, no? Yeah, we gotta put the cheese first. Why? Because I think it just like looks better on this okay. pizza oven. Okay. So we're gonna start with uh, put a little bit of mozzarella cheese. Uh, you're giving away all the secrets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then, uh, you know, usually like, like like everybody when they make pizza, they use shredder. And then when, after that, we're gonna put a little bit of goat cheese. This is a local uh, uh, organic cheese from uh, from uh, Sherrybrook Farm. It's in Lincoln. Sherrybrook Farm, yep. Yeah, okay. and then uh, we're gonna put a little bit of goat cheese in there. So good. <laughs> and we're gonna do portobello mushrooms. They're over there, you wanna hand it to me. Sure. Yeah, this portobello has been marinated overnight. Now, what are you marinating these in? I just marinate with a uh, little bit of uh, uh, brown sugar, honey, a little bit of champagne vinegar. Brown and sugar, honey, champagne vinegar? And uh, flat leaf Italian parsley. Brown sugar, honey, honey, champagne vinegar. And uh, uh, Italian parsley. Now we have to uh, slice and put it in the pizza. And uh, you're gonna throw it in the oven, man. I'm starving. So we gotta, <laughs> <laughs> and I hope you like it too. You know, so you gotta put it just. Now will you add pieces? any cheese on top of that? No, I don't. No, really? Man. No, I don't, man. Man, man, I can't wait to see what this looks like. All right, man. Let's throw in the oven, man. OK. All right. All right, they're going to take, like, I would say, like, four or five minutes. You got to go. I'll move the pizza, too. You want to do it? Move the pizza. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I get the honors of this. All right, man. Right, what am I doing? You're just going to turn the pizza off. I got to do it the other way, now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Now, yeah. what? now we have to put it back on the and the coals, just to give a nice color on the side. This way? Yeah. Here? Yeah. Right there? Right there, man. Sorry, they're, gonna, man. they're gonna take 30 it's seconds. Burn. Oh, sorry, yes, go. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's gonna burn. Yeah. No, in other <laughs> words, <laughs> yep. <laughs> in other words, don't quit your day job, right, Manny? Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> OK, hey, I, mean, I, li I like everything well done. All right. Does right. the pizza up? All right, the pheasant ready, the beans are ready. And I can't wait to try it, man. Now, how do you know when it's done? Uh, uh, it's, that seems to be the magic question. Exactly, yeah. Is it, I, I have mean, a feeling it has to do with the answer is manning. <laughs> <laughs> you say, I don't, uh, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't check temperatures. I use, kind of go by the eye, man. All eye. All eye, yeah. Eye all up. Yep. Comes a lot kinda of experience. Old school, you know? All right, old yep. school, fair yeah, enough. Old school, yep. You can't say it better so, than that. So now it's, you gotta pull them out of the oven. All right. Yeah. You're gonna put in the cutting board. That pheasant looks amazing. A little bit of risotto. You get a nice color on there, do you? That looks amazing. That's my favorite color. Then we put the pheasant on it. You don't even have to slice this off. All right, a little bit of kale. And we're ready to go, man. For the final. A little bit. A little bit of cheese. And ready to go, man. Manning, I to That's date it. don't think I've seen a prettier dish in my entire life. I hate to go there, but I'm gonna go there just like the pheasant. <laughs> just like the it pheasant. It looks man. exactly the All same right. kind of colors. All right, man. You presented an ultimate challenge, Manning. And I hope you like it, man. I will, but right. more importantly, we've got a table to feed, so I hope right. they do too. But I hope thanks they like for it too, setting man. down the challenge. All right, thanks for man. coming in, man. It's a lot warmer in here, by the yeah, way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can feel the heat, huh? Thank you guys for being here. It's one thing to be in the hometown. Manning, you cooked it up. Uh, Bill, you helped me catch it. <laughs> and you had some good wine to toast. So right. cheers to that, guys. Cheers. Thanks yeah, for being yeah. part of this. Cheers. 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 I thought that Lake Chalice wines from New Zealand would pair nicely with the pizza, the Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, 
the grapefruit flavors will go nicely with the fig and uh, pepidou sauce. I appreciate that. You know I shot my first season in New Zealand, so this is not only is Omaha home to me, but so is New Zealand, so thanks for doing that. Hey, you're welcome. Cheers. So the white will go with the pizza, right? And then the crystal you know, do that as well. Dean, the energy in here is amazing. Well, I'll tell you, um, this has been the funnest project that I've ever been able to work on, and having the talents of our leader, Willie, and then someone like our chef, Manny, Taking the ingredients and, and having him have the freedom to, to put this together, you're not going to find this in a cookbook. Cheers, man. Cheers, man. Awesome meal. Thanks. It was a pleasure to have you here, man. And how are you coming back again? Uh, I am. <laughs> Can you do one thing? Just say say hello to my little friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>to say we were delighted to host Aaron at Pheasant Bonanza. It's, it's clearly one of the premier hunt clubs in the country. A great venue. We had a great day of, uh, of exercise in the fields. It's a delight to walk around in the fresh air, watch the dogs work, and we were, we were lucky enough to get some birds up. Uh, and Aaron turned out to be a really good shot. He, he was very competitive out there, and we brought down some birds, and, and we've enjoyed them here at Pitch. Break the gun, get another shot. Okay. Put it off, please, please. Break it. Gotta make this quick. That Easy. Gotta... Damn. Wrong way, backwards. Okay, she's in. You ready? Yep. yep. Go ahead. Let's walk up. Okay. Get right up on the rear. It's going down. That's all right. Man. You got it. Now we get to eat it.